Everyone loves being a bubble-blowing baby, but if you find them on the surface of your planted tank, you may want to reconsider that as they may possess a hidden threat to your tank. And no, I'm not talking about bubble nests created by fish. That is different. Here's why. There are a multitude of reasons as to why bubbles appear. The less concerning one is that some medications can produce excess bubbles, such as API Melifix. A more concerning issue can be due to low flow in certain areas of the tank. It's mainly trapped oxygen or CO2 around corners, surface plants, and hardscape. This isn't ideal as any liquid nutrients or CO2 may not reach those areas where plants may be present, which may result in nutrient deficiencies. Now, the more pressing reason is due to low or virtually zero surface agitation, which further leads leads to the development of surface scum. This scum, no, not you, reduces healthy gases exchange, which in turn can lead to unstable oxygen and CO2 levels. Surface bubbles and surface scum go hand in hand, as it can indicate a high presence of organic waste in the water. This organic waste can lead to spikes in the big three. Uh, wait a second. This big three, mainly ammonia, and this is where things can get dangerous. High levels of ammonia can lead to ammonia bubbles being produced on the surface. This is obviously more prevalent in tanks where there is low surface agitation. This happens because ammonia triggers the release of smaller protein fragments into the water. These fragments act as surfactants, thus reducing surface tension and causing bubbles to form, which often appears around the edges of the water surface. There are a few ways to prevent these bubbles from appearing. The main one is standard aquarium maintenance. Things like regular water changes, debris vacuuming, and feeding less. Surface skimmers are also highly recommended if you want a more consistent way to remove surface film. However, if your tank is relatively new, it's probably ammonia bubbles, which can indicate that the tank is still cycling and you need to either do more water changes or keep waiting. As I've mentioned before, there is a big reason as to why we want a clean surface when it comes to planted tanks, especially if you are planning or are currently injecting CO2. Uh, however, there are times where you want to reduce the amount of surface agitation in a tank. These reasons can be found in this short video right here.